Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Marvelous Monday. And what a blessed honor and privilege, once again, it is to be able to connect with my St. Paul family, for sure. All my friends, my acquaintances, co-workers. Good morning, everybody. What a blessing. Hallelujah. Brother Fuller, good morning, sir. Good morning, Buki. Hey, Rhonda and Dominique, Stephanie Brown, good morning. And Shana Boo. What's up, Emma? Morning, Dolores. Morning, Sharonda. Hey, this is Sheila. Hey, Lisa, Khalees and CJ. This is Verde, uh, Brother Clave and our money. Hello, Tanzla family and Roderick. Good morning, Vicky. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Christy. How you guys doing this morning? Hey, Johnny. How many know that you're nothing without the Lord this morning? Pastor Rosemary, good morning. Brother Charles, good morning, sir. Good morning, Sister Patsy. Brother Jerry and Nick, what's going on? Hey, Aretha. Minnie Stewart, good morning. Hey, Cousin Jackie. Yeah, I'm nothing without our God. Oh, bless the Lord. Good morning, Anthony Allen. Doing well, sir. Thank you. Pray that your family is doing well. Just tag where you're from this morning. For those of you that I don't know, for the most part, I know everybody so far. Just tag where you're um, connecting from this morning. Hey, Tammy. What's up, Mel? Hazel, good morning. Pamela Jones, good morning. Ruby Robinson, good morning. Hey, Katrina Sonneville. Sister Carolyn, good morning. Good morning, Deacon Smith. Pamela Jones, good morning. Hey, Shirley. Shirley Carr, good morning. All right, let us go ahead and get it kicked off, guys. Father God, we thank you so much this morning for your goodness, grace, and mercy, for your power and your presence, enabling us to stay poised in the midst of opposition. God, we're here this morning, Lord God, just thankful, grateful, privileged, and honored to, Lord God, just call upon your holy, awesome name this morning. And God, we stand on apologically, uh, on apology, Lord God, just to let you know that we're nothing without you. We can't stand. We can't move. We can't maneuver. Lord God, we cannot do anything without you, Lord God, this morning. And God, we're standing on your promises. We're standing on your word. We're uh, we're uh, leaning on your will, your perfect will, not your permissive, your perfect will, God. And I'm praying right now, Lord God, that as we go about this week and start this day, I'm praying that you, I'm praying that you help us recognize that you want to do a brand new thing in us. And God, we're going to be talking about newness all week long. Oh, God, we have received it already. We receive, Lord God, the new thing that you're going to do. We receive it, Lord God, by, by faith. We proclamate, proclaim, and herald it from the rooftop, Lord God, that you want to do something brand new in our lives. And we love you, Lord God. We honor you. We thank you right now for your hand that is on our lives. We appreciate you, Lord God, that you uh, are with us as you promised that you'll never leave us, nor will you ever forsake us, Lord God, and we love you. Oh, God, we magnify your name. Oh, God, we thank you right now for my St. Paul family, for all of my friends, my acquaintances, Lord God, 
for everybody um, that is undergirding the ministry, Lord God, we lift them up and, and ask for a supernatural blessing over their lives and their families right now in Jesus' name, that they will not lack nothing and they will not have to face um, anything without you. So God, we thank you right now. We bless you in Jesus' name for the new things that you're going to do in our lives. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Lily Harris. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let us get into it. Hallelujah. In him do I live, move, and have my being, Lord. In him do I live, move, and have my being, Lord. I'm nothing without you. Anybody know that this morning? I'm nothing without you, Lord, Lord. I'm nothing without you, Lord. I'm nothing without you. In Him do I live, move, and have my being. Yeah. Oh, come on, bless him with me. In him do I live, move, and have my being, Lord. Oh, I'm nothing without you. Somebody need to emphatically shout that. I'm nothing without you. Yes, I'm nothing without you, Lord. I'm nothing without you. I can't move without you, Lord. I can't breathe without you. I refuse to move without you, Lord. I'm nothing without you. Oh, so breathe. Anybody needing God to breathe and live in me, yeah, yes, and let your glory reign in me, yes, breathe. Anybody needing God to breathe, oh, hallelujah, and live in me and let your glory in me come on whoa come on breathe come on modulate with me uh. and live in me and let your glory reign in me Somebody need to shout, God, breathe. Oh, God, and live in me. And let your glory reign. Oh, God, in me. Yes. I'm nothing without you. Woo. Come on, bless him with me. I'm nothing without you. Yeah. On this marvelous Monday, I'm nothing without you, God. I'm nothing without you. Yes, I can't preach without you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I can't teach effectively without you, God. Hey, oh, hallelujah. I'm nothing. Anybody know that you're nothing without God this morning? Huh. Anybody know that you're nothing without God? You may have all the money in the world. You may be able to do what you think that you can do, but you're nothing. 
You're nothing without God. Oh, oh, bless the Lord. I feel worship. I'm nothing without your God. Come on, give God praise right there. Come on, give God praise right there. Oh, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Look, God is certainly awesome and he is certainly amazing. And I'm just so um, grateful and elated that you guys got up early this morning with me um, because uh, I believe God is getting ready to take us somewhere. And uh, God laid this um, God laid this burden upon my heart this week um, to talk about the new things. Um, as I begin to ponder and as I go out and do my run, I'm going to do this afterwards. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly go ahead and give it to you. Get up, get out and get active for sure. Amen. Amen. Um, definitely make sure you, you do something special for your heart. Um, but but as I go out and as I run and as I meditate, even had the wonderful privilege of, of course, talking with uh, First Lady J and, you know, just talking about as things are opening up and 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 the president and the governors here specifically in Mississippi and pretty much all over the um, all over the United States, uh, churches are starting to reopen. And and um, and I'm saying, God, whoa. All right. Just help us to maneuver. Help us, Lord God, to make the right necessary steps as not to be um, as as not to do anything you know, um, to jeopardize um, the sheep that God has called me to, right? To partic particularly, of course, my St. Paul, St. Paul family. And I know I have um, some ministry pastors on here as well. Um, but, you know, be praying, be praying for all of us because, you know, we don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize anybody's life. And so as I was beginning to pray, meditate about this is that um, I believe God strategically allows, yes, help me here. He allows, he allows things to happen just so that it can just give us a moment to step back, right? And assess with, and assess with lucidity. Yeah. And assess um, whether or not our hearts are truly in what we do, right? Uh, so St. Paul, I'm talking to St. Paul and, and everybody else definitely um, be blessed by this as well. St. Paul, we can't do the same thing we used to do. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, here we go. I know y'all weren't ready for this early this morning. Look, we can't do the things we used to do. Yeah, yeah. We well, I hope I got a chance to talk to one of my members yesterday, and and she said, Pastor, I am I just so miss the body of Christ. I so miss fellowshipping with everybody, and I can't wait till this thing is over with. And I can't either. But guess what? The scripture that I'm going to give you this morning is going to help substantiate my claim about what God is getting ready to take us. We may look the same, but we cannot have the same inward, uh, the same inward man and woman. Let's get into it. All right, Amen. Let us get let us get into this. It's coming from Mark, Mark chapter two, Mark chapter two. Yeah, Matthew, Mark uh, chapter two. And let's get into this. I want you to guys look at verse number twenty two. It says, "No man puts new wine." Oh, my God. Look, I'm happy already. No man puts brand new wine into old bottles. Else the new wine does burst the bottles and the wine is spilled and the bottles will be marred. But new wine, somebody say new wine. Yeah. New wine must be put into new bottles. Yeah. Let me read it one more time. And no man, woman well, inclusive, Put it new wine into old bottles, else the new wine does burst the bottles and the wine is spilled and the bottles will be marred. But new wine, oh, bless the Lord, must be put into new bottles. That's the King James. Let's take a, uh, let's take a look at the New Living Translation, my version of choice. Here it is. And no one puts new wines new wine into old wine skins for the for the wine would burst the wine skins and the wine and the skins would both be lost new wine calls for new wine skins let's get into this amen let's get into this so so my my topic today as we are going to be talking about the newness uh, the new thing a new thing this week my topic my topic today is don't mix it up Oh, bless the Lord. God gave it to me early this morning. Amen. Don't mix it up. Don't mix it up. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. As young folks say, it may say, look, they may say some new stuff. I don't know, but that's what I know. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. And sometimes first ladies say, don't get it twisted, biscuit. 
Hey, man. So let's get into this. So, of course, Jesus, of course, is given a parable. He's given a parable. Um, and, and if you go up one verse, it talks about the parable of, uh, uh, of the cloth um, attaching to something old as well. So we may go back and take a look at that as well. But but I, I want to tell you something um, in the context, in the context of what uh, what this parable is talking about. It's talking about uh, Judaism is the old garment. Just give me some context. Judaism is the old garment and the old wine skin. Judaism and Christianity is the new garment that is implied. It's implied. The new garment or the new wine skin and the new wine. Yeah. The point is not that the old, watch this, help me, help me. The, the point is that is not that the old is wrong or that the old is evil, uh, but rather it's that it's time has passed. Oh, bless the Lord. And I want to just go ahead and pin right there that God is getting ready to do something great in somebody's life. And in order for you to step into this new thing, you've got to embrace. You've got to embrace what God wants to do. Yeah, you may look after this thing is over with. You may look the same, but you can't have the same old mindset. Yeah, you can't have the same old mindset about church. You can't have the same old mindset about fellowship. You can't have the same old mindset about going to the house of the Lord. You can't look. If you if you if you casually and leisurely just stroll into the house of the Lord because hey, guess what? Look, it's all about me. Look, you got to have the you got to have a new mindset. You can't start you can't Walk into this new thing that God is getting ready to do. If church start at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1.30, whatever the case may be, you can't scroll in there an hour later. Oh, come on, bless the Lord. God is getting ready to do something new. And if you want to embrace it, yeah, I'm preaching hard this morning. If you want to embrace what God has for you, you can't do the same old thing. We can't have, watch this, we can't even have the same worship. God is saying, I want us to, I want you to have higher worship. Oh, bless the Lord. He wants us to push through and press through our issues and everything that we have on us. God is saying, I want to do something new in you, Tanya. I want to do something new in you, Regina and Lisa. I want to do something brand new. But he said, I cannot, I will not pour something new into something that is old. Oh, my Lord. God, come on, help me. Come on. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Because, because. You got to understand it is it, it will not only the, the new thing, uh, uh, you can't handle the new and the old thing can't handle and the and the old thing can't handle you. I want to tell you something right here. It is equally, equally disastrous to pour new. This word new in the Greek is called neon, neon or fresh, uh, not fully fermented wine into old, worn out by use. And this worn out is a Greek word called palatitious. Yeah, with new elasticity because the old thing is brittle. Yeah, so just to kind of give you some context, of course, back in the day, they used skins, right? They used skins of animals and they and that's what they used to, um, as bottles, right? And, and what happens is those old skins, mm, those old wine skins after a long time will start cracking. And, and, and because they are brittle. And if you pour brand new wine that has not been fully fermented yet. Yeah, yeah, y'all got some wine connoisseurs on here. I know I got some wine connoisseurs. Yeah, look, I know you have a glass of wine every once in a while. Pastor Thurman does. Yeah, I know y'all. Oh, Pastor Thurman drink wine. Yes, First Lady and I have a, have a glass of wine every now and then. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Do everything in moderation. Yeah, I'm going to head put you out there. Watch this. Watch this. You can't put brand new wine into old wine skins lest you are in a position to ruin them both. Yeah, the old wine skins cannot handle, somebody say, I can't, look, help me, Lord, cannot handle the new because it hadn't been fully fermented yet. God is saying, God is saying, I want to pour something brand new into you, Dolores. I want to pour something brand new into you, Sister Benford. I want to, First Lady Benford, I want to pour something brand new into you, Shirley Carr, but I'm not going to do it because what I have for you, it costs something. Oh, bless the Lord. What, what I have costs my son's blood. What I have for you costs my son's life. What I have for you, oh God, cannot be redeemed by your old lifestyle. Oh, bless the Lord. I know I'm early this morning. I'm happy about it because God is getting ready to do something brand new. Somebody shout, don't mix it up. Don't, don't mix this thing up. Don't mix it up because God is getting ready to take you somewhere, take us higher and take us deeper. But he says, I refuse. Oh, bless the Lord. I refuse to pour this brand new opportunity. Oh, bless the Lord. I refuse to give you this brand new job and this brand new aspiration and that brand new company and that brand new car and that brand new house and that brand 
brand new. I'm not going to do it when your mind ain't ready for it. Oh my God. When your heart can't receive it because you still got some brittleness and you don't want to let go of the old. Oh, hallelujah. You don't want to let go of the old. God is saying, let it go. Don't mix it up. God said, I'm not going to mix up my brand new thing in that old heart. I'm not going to mix. I'm going to, I'm not going to pour my brand new stuff in that old mind. I'm not going to pour my brand new opportunities in that old stinking thinking. Absolutely. I'm not. Oh, watch this. Because again, when you pour this new wine, when God poured this new wine, uh, uh, even in the old wine skins, uh, because when you pour something new, yeah, can you see the bubbles starting to bubble up? It starts to expand. And if you're not careful, if you're not careful, a person that pours uh, new wine into old wine skins, eventually it's going to leak out the crevices. Mm, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Eventually it's going to leak out the crevices. And God says, I don't want you to lose any of the new stuff that I'm going to give you. I don't want you to waste any of the new stuff that I'm going to give you. Oh, bless the Lord. He says, watch this. Philippians 2 and 5 says it like this. Let this mind <laughs> be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, you got to have a brand new mindset. You may look the same, uh, Sister Verdia. You may, you may look the same. Uh, when, we get ready, when we get ready to go back into the house of the Lord, you may look the same. Oh, but your praise got to be different. Oh, bless the Lord. When you get back into the house of the Lord, uh, your, your hallelujah ought to, ought to be more holy. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord this morning. Because God, God is getting ready to do something brand new. He's getting ready to do something brand new. Yeah, he's getting ready to take you someplace. He's getting ready to open up some brand new opportunity. Yeah, so that, that is why I believe that, that this shelter in place and that this quarantine has been necessary for the body of Christ. Yeah, we can't just be, we can't just, uh, just haphazardly go back into this thing thinking that, oh, it's going to, everything's going to be the same way. No, St. Paul, get ready. We, we, we've been praying. We've been praying and asking God to prepare our hearts for, for re-entry. Mm. Been praying and asking God to, to ready us for re-entry because we can't go before him the same way. Oh, bless the Lord. He, he said, I, he said, I'm holy and therefore you ought to by default be holy as well. I'm righteous, and therefore, by default, you've got to be righteous as well. God is saying, God is saying, we're getting ready to go back. Oh, bless the Lord. We're getting ready to go back, but don't bring, don't bring that mess. Oh, hallelujah. Don't bring, don't bring all of that dissension. Oh, let's bless the Lord. Don't bring all of that craziness. He says, come before me with an open heart so that I can pour this brand new thing into you. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, somebody, shout right there. Oh, bless the Lord, because I believe, mm, I don't mean to shout at you early this morning, but I believe that God is getting ready to do something brand new. Yeah, yeah because I understand something, that God uh, is one that is ready. Mm, he's ready. Oh, he, he, help me, Holy Spirit. He's ready. But the question is, the question is, are you, mm, Sharonda, are you ready? Alice calls it. Are you truly ready for it? Well, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. But then you, you, you still, you still and, 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 and having to grapple with that stuff. God is saying, are you seriously, are you ready? Yeah, don't get it mixed up. Don't get it mixed up. Yeah, God has said, I'm not going to pour. And I believe that there's a pouring going on. Yeah, because, because I don't care how bad you want the things of the Lord. I don't care how bad you aspire to have the things of the Lord. But, but I, look at, I look at Jesse's boys. Yeah, I look at Jesse's sons. Yeah, every time that the prophet um, began to pour the oil on the boys, uh, the oil didn't flow. But it was only after the last boy in the person of David. The one that was out there slinging his slingshot. That the one that was out there taking care of the sheep. The one that was out there providing for the sheep. The one that was an affected, affectionate with the sheep. And when he came into the house, oh, bless the Lord, the oil began to flow. And I want to just go ahead and tell you that there's got to be anointing. Mm, yeah, there's got to be a, a, a fresh anointing over your life. And I'm needing somebody that is hooked up with God to, 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 to ride with me. Come on, somebody. I need somebody that is hooked up with God to connect with me. I need somebody that is serious about God but because God is getting ready to take us higher. And God said, I don't want to just take you up that thermo. Take, take everybody else with you that is serious. Oh, bless the Lord. Because I understand that I'm nothing. And Vicki, you're nothing. And Shirley Carr, you're nothing. And Lois, you're nothing without God. Yeah, we, can, we can't receive the new 
uh, if we still got the same old. Yeah, we can't receive the new if we still have the same old. So God is saying this morning in my devotion, as we're going to be talking about, as we're going to be talking about the newness, the newness of God. Don't get it mixed up. Yet yeah, don't get it mixed up. Please, my brother and my sister, don't mix it up. God is saying, I want a fresh anointing. I want a fresh praise. I want a fresh glow over your life. And this ought to be the time that we have gotten over these last two plus months. We ought to have gotten refreshed uh, in the presence of God. We ought to have let some old bygones go. We ought to let some old mindsets go. We ought to let some unforgiveness go. Oh, come on. If we st Watch this. If we still got some of that same old stuff, mm, God said, nope, I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to this until you get it right. I'm going to hold on to that breakthrough. Oh, bless the Lord. I'm going to hold on to that breakthrough until you, until you open up your heart. I'm going to hold on to that new opportunity until you get it right. God is saying, but the question is, are you ready? Somebody need to shout, Lord, I'm ready. If you're seriously ready, if you're seriously ready for God to pour that new thing on you, somebody need to shout, Lord, I am ready. Come on. And I'm going to get on out of your way this morning. Amen. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody need to shout early on this marvelous Monday. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I shout. I shout with you. Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, somebody. Regina, are you ready? Lisa, are you ready? Sister Verdia Clay, Sister, uh, Brother Charles and, and, and Sister Sheila, are you guys ready? Brother Brooks, are you ready? Dolores, Buki, are you ready? Daddy, you ready? Uh, First Lady Benford, Pastor Benford, you guys ready? Come on. Let's prepare our hearts to receive the new. Oh, bless the Lord. Somebody shout, I'm ready. Athena said, I'm ready. Pastor Rosemary, yes, sir. yes, indeed. I'm ready. I'm ready. Katrina said, I'm ready. Oh, God, come on. Come on, let's bless the Lord then. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Amen. That's my devotion this morning. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody need to shout right there. Yeah. Blessing. Father God, we thank you so much for this sweet, awesome time that you granted unto us. And I thank you, Lord God, for giving us clarity. And I thank you, Lord God, for giving us a fresh new perspective. Helping us, Lord God, um, to let go. As Paul says, I, I'm letting go of my past. Of my past achievements. My past successes. For sure, yes, my past failures. But I'm letting all of it go to take hold of the new. I'm letting, I'm letting it go. I'm not going to carry worry into this new thing. Because it can't be mixed with joy. Oh, hallelujah. God, I'm not going to carry, I'm not going to carry this old mindset into this next couple of months. Uh, I'm not going to carry this old thing. God, I'm letting it all go and to grasp on to your glory. God, put a glow over us, Lord God, that when we come out of this thing, people are going to look at, people are going to look at us differently. They're going to know that we have had spent time with you. They're going to know that we have, that we have uh, gotten a fresher a perspective of who you are. When we come out of this, after we get off of that ark, oh, bless the Lord, <laughs> hallelujah. After we get off of that ark, God, we, we're going we're gonna to have a rainbow experience. God, we're going to have a covenantal experience with you all over again. God, you quarantined us for a while. But I believe, oh God, that you're going to allow us to get out of this thing more, oh, more, more jubile, more excited. Oh, bless the Lord. Help us, oh God, on this day. Help us, Lord God, to relinquish all of our fear. Help us on this day to relinquish all of our worry. Help us this day to say, Lord, I am ready to receive the new thing that you have for me. Oh, bless the Lord. And I thank you now. I thank you now. Now, before we get off, Lord God, I, I want to ask that you forgive us. God, I want to ask that you forgive us now. I'm asking that you would cleanse us, purify us, enable us, Lord God, to recognize and know that we have had some propensities and some proclivities in our hearts. We got some quirks and some idiosyncrasies. Lord God, we got some stuff that we need you to help, oh God, take out of us. Give us the strength, give us the stamina, give us the resolve to know, Lord God, that we can do all things through you, God, who gives us strength. Give us the power to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Give us the power to walk right. Give us the power to be holy. Give us the power to let go of old relationships. Help us, Lord God, to understand, Lord God, that it happened. It hurt. But I'm, I'm better now. 
Oh, bless the Lord. Help us to recognize, let me say it again, God, that it happened. It hurt. But Lord God, because of you, and because I grasped only you, I'm better now. I'm wiser now. Oh, God, I'm more affectionate now. I'm healed now. Oh, bless the Lord. I thank you now. And I lift your name up now. Because you are God to be honored. You are God to be worshipped. You are God to be loved. And God, you loved us that while we were yet in our sins, while we were yet doing our thing, while we were yet caught up in that old vice grip, oh God, you came down and saved us. Thank you, Lord. We shout emphatically on this marvelous Monday that we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the new thing that you're getting ready to do. We thank you for the new thing that you're getting ready to take us to. We thank you for the new opportunities. We thank you for the new place. We thank you for the new doors. We thank you, oh God, for the new heart and the new mind. We thank you right now. And God, we're not going to wait until you give it to us. We're going to shout, oh God, to the top of our lungs that we love you. And we honor you. And we magnify your name. And we're nothing without you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Look, it's going to be a blessed week. It is going to be a blessed week. Go ahead and get it in your mindset to receive the new thing that God is getting ready to do. Amen. God bless you. I love you guys. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll connect tomorrow morning in Jesus' name. Oh, by the way, I'll connect with us at 7 o'clock tonight. Go ahead and set your clock. 7 o'clock tonight with Pastor Rosemary. She's going to um, be praying over us. Send your prayer requests in to rwilliams at stpmbc.org and connect with us tonight as we continue to build. Uh, there is something, something is building up, guys. Something is building up. Anticipation is building up. Go ahead. Go ahead and set your clocks. May God bless you immensely in Jesus' name.